You said you were looking for work. And I found it! No, this isn't work. Have you ever thought what would happen to us if we lost you? Lost all our money? Either you change Cesar, or I change the locks. You Cesar, I'm here for my fight. Yeah, that's me. Toughest hijo de puta in the Glen. Mm-hmm. And the worst father in Night City. Michaela, baby! I know what I'm doing, you gotta I'm not trust me. you. First you spent a fortune on Chrome, and now. Ugh, I give up. Beat some sense into him for me, okay? He needs a good lesson. Michaela! Michaela, wait for fuck's sake! Listen, I need a lot of scratch and fast. That's why I'm only taking serious wagers. I'm putting my ride on the line. Either you match it in cash, or you can forget about the fight. All right, let's talk. What's the car? A real gem, a tuned-up 2056 classic, but with only 20,000 miles on her. No dings, no patch jobs. Uh-huh. And stolen? No, 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 none of that. She's legit. Give you my word. Listen, you don't like the deal? Don't take it. Just don't drag this out. Time is money, and I'm running out of both. What are you waiting for? Too rich for me. At least for now. Right, right. Well, you check. Okay, I'll match it. We good? All good. Let's go. So bare hands only, right? No pulling any mono wires or mantis blades out of your ass? Right. I asked because the last guy I fought tried to surprise me with long spurs. Anyway, you ready to start? Yep. Ready to rumble. Careful now. I don't fuck around. for me. Thanks. But the Eddies, I bet. They're yours. You... I mean, really? Not my type of joke. Listen, I... Shit, I... I don't know how to thank you. Just don't lose what you still got left. Don't intend to. Oof, we dodged one there, huh? Uh-huh. Pendejos have all the luck. Any ideas for a name? Something with a V? Your implants, they look half done. Done or not done? It is of no importance. A bhikkhu does not defile his body through cyber modification. It is against the Platimoksha. And yet, they knew about this. For me, there is no return. Hold on. Somebody forced you? Not just me. 
My brother, too. They drugged us. Desecrated my body. And all the while, they mocked me. How can you do this to a fellow human being and still mock them? Makes no sense. Who'd go and do something like this, and why? We were out begging for alms when... when they approached us. They laughed at us and asked if we would take implants as a donation. They looked more machine than human. They told us they would improve us like tools. Maelstrom. How about your brother? He's still with them? Yes. I was first. Then they were trying to decide how, how to modify him. You look like someone who can reason with these people. I beg you, please help my brother. I only hope it is not too late. I do not wish for him to end up like, like I have. Fine, I'll help. But just so you know, things might get ugly. Maelstrom doesn't mess around. There must be some other way. Help us, please. But without any bloodshed, I beg you. I'll see what I can do. Either way, your brother's getting out. I do not know how to thank you. They're keeping him in a shop just north of here. You shall find it next to the road along the docks. How poetic. A monk in distress. They should include this in your epic. What are you gonna do? Cross your legs and meditate till they drop dead? Wish you'd drop dead. So this is where they're keeping our fellow brother. Do not do this! Implantations against my beliefs. Please, I do not want them. Calm down, it's over now. I'm not with them. So, what are you doing here? What happened? Glad I got here in time. Are you okay? Did they do anything to you? I was lucky. They could not decide which implant would be funnier. Cyber psychos. The lot of them. One... One of them wanted to remove my jaw. The thought itself gave me shivers. Thankfully, they did not get the chance. To what do I owe this intervention of yours? Was walking by and caught some lame jokes about metal monks. Think about Maelstrom. They're never just joking. Now, but the truth's that... Your brother sent me. He didn't want the same thing to happen to you. From the bottom of my soul, thank you. I'm especially grateful nobody was killed. May you continue on the path of peace. What compels these monsters is of no consequence. It's not up to us to judge what they deserve. Um, yeah, sure. How'd you even get taken by Maelstrom? Most people avoid him like the plague. We are here as strangers. We wander from place to place. 
When we arrived in Night City, we had no time to identify its dangers. Don't monks live in monasteries? It used to be they did not. My brother and I belong to a group that follows the earliest Buddhist teachings. It is an interesting life. We have met many unusual people. So I see. There's no need for sarcasm. We know the world is dangerous. But if one takes no risks, one will never know what lies beyond the front door. I'm sure you understand. Your brother's waiting for you. Not far from here. First I must catch my breath, and then I shall go. It is him who shall need saving now. Look who's taken the righteous path. If you're so afraid of killing, maybe you should have become a monk instead of a merc. Killing isn't the solution to everything. If you want to change the world, there's always a price to be paid. As for these chrome fucks, you think they got all this gear by sitting around going, um... If they had enough to spare on monks, then surely they don't need all of it. <laughs>